In the last lecture, we learned that we could organize or split our TypeScript code into multiple files using namespaces. But if we are working in a big project where we can have hundreds of files, we can even further organize or group them into folders. That means we can add related TypeScript files into a single folder to organize them better. In this way, the developer will know which file to look for in which folder. Let's see how we can do that with a simple example. For that, what I'm going to do is, in this source folder, I'm going to create two more folders. The first folder will be models folder, where we are going to keep all our models. And the second folder, let's call it as user utils. So in this folder, we are going to keep all the files related to utility for the user. Now in this models folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'll call it as user.ts. And inside this user.ts file, I'm going to create this user class. So let me cut it from here and let's go to user.ts. And there again, first I'll add a namespace. And again, I'm going to call it as app. And inside that, let's create this user class. Okay. And now I want to use this user class inside this user action.ts file. So for that, first I will have to export it from here. And we want to use this user class in this user action.ts file. So there I'm going to import it. And for importing, we need to add the reference. So again, how do we do that? We use three slashes like this. We use self closing angle bracket. In there, we use reference keyword. We specify the path. And here, I want to use the class present in this user.ts file and this user.ts file it is present in models folder and in that models folder we have user.ts okay so now you will see that all the errors are gone and here it says user is not defined that's because we have not saved this file okay so that error is gone let me close this user.ts file now this user action.ts file i want to move it to this user utils folder. So let me move it to this user utils folder. Okay, so now this file is present in user utils folder. Now here I can update it, but for now I will say no. And here what we need to do is now this user action.ts file, it is present in user utils folder. So from this folder, we need to move one folder up. Then in that folder, we have the models folder. And there we have the user.ts file. So this error is gone in this user action.ts file. Now in the app.ts file also, now this user action.ts file and app.ts file are not present in same folder. So here we need to update the path. So from the current folder, we need to go to user utils folder. And in there we have user action.ts file. If I save the changes, now all the errors should be gone. So now what we have done is we have organized our TypeScript files into multiple folders. So that is also possible. Okay. And with this, we have organized our file in a better way by creating them inside subfolders and any related files. For example, if we create another model like task, we can add it in the models folder because this models folder I have created because in this models folder, I want to keep all my models for this application. I can have task.ts, I can have let's say auth.ts. So any model which I will create, I will put it inside this models folder. In this way, if some other developer start working on this project, he will know where to look for a model file in the project folder structure. So this is all about namespaces and how to create and use them in TypeScript and how they help us organize our TypeScript code. Next, we are going to learn about ES6 modules. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions related to namespaces in TypeScript, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.